Hello and welcome to card number four for this month. And um, this one is a very cute and simple one. Um, so this is a phrase from our slimline um, phrases for the slimline cards normally. But I just wanted to show you that you can use this also on a regular card. So this is another of those phrases. It's a thank you. And... Um, I figured we're just going to use it in a different way this time. So they fit on a regular card. Um, when you pull out your items out of your envelope, you will have a couple pieces here inside the stem. So make sure your card faces the right way. Here's some little tags. And then we have these three pieces. So you can put your card together like this if you wanted to. But... Um, let's cut out this flower first, that way you can see it better. So, um, I just traced around uh, the tulip here. And remember when you're cutting to hold your scissors straight in your hand and move the paper around. That makes it easier to cut. And you get nice smooth round edges, not sharp ones which we often don't want and if you have one of our micro tip micro tip scissors like these ones here from close to my heart they're super sharp and they have a really nice fine tip up front so it makes cutting really easy okay so we go around this one here let me cut this off and then i'm not going all the way down there in there I just go around this one a little bit and then we go back up here and top this side here a little bit deeper down and around one more time down the stem Back the other side. And down the outside. And sometimes when those pieces get too long, I just cut them off. Makes it easier to go around. You have it. Okay. And in case you own one of these scissors or you would like to order one, like I said, these are super sharp. They have a very um, pointy tip. This one is the one that is uh, the non stick coating. So you can cut. Um, through tape and other things and it's really nice it doesn't stick and then this one is the one that's the regular one again very pointy tape uh, tip uh, they're about the same size um, they come with this blade um, protector and you always want to I, I just do this automatically put my um, protector back on because this tip is so pointy it easily can bend or break uh, depending on if you drop it. So um, just make sure you put the cap on when you're done using it. So you can put your flower down here too if you wanted to. But the reason why I switched these sides around was that due to the white in the paper here, and I think it kind of get lost on the design paper, while on this one it just shows more off. So 
that's that's why I did it this way but you can turn it and do it the other way around up to you um, there's no right or wrong way you could actually if you felt like it no it doesn't work this way then we have to flip it over a bit so either or it works um, I will start by making sure I got my card the right way and then I will start with the corner pieces first And they should fit. Right into the corner here. And now flush with this side and flush with the top. Okay. And then we grab the other one. Here on this side and again with the liquid adhesive it's just easier to move these pieces if they're a little bit off that looks good okay now this is the piece that goes in the middle you can adhere it just flat to the card I raised mine a little bit with foam so is the flower so um it's up to you it's not a must I will go ahead and use some foam spacers. If I get them off, there you go. And then I just do like two in the middle here. That should be fine. Okay. Let's remove the backing. I'm out of our thin tape and dots again, so they're on their way. But in the meantime, I just went through stash that I have still sitting here, and I'm like, okay, you're not getting better the longer you sit here. I might as well use you. And then you just have to make sure that it's nicely lined up. This needs to move a little bit over here. There we go. I think that's perfect. Okay. Now we have our little flower, which is raised two. just have to be a little bit careful when you put the card in the envelope that the little flower doesn't bend. Okay, and this one is about here. And then we have these three. And they're all together on a string, so you can just leave them. And just put them on here and that is almost everything there's one more little thing to do and that is grab a pencil and then I just did a double line here on the bottom and on the top and what I'm trying to do is just to cross over the line so they're a little bit off and not straight. And then this one on the long side. And there you have your card number four. I hope you enjoyed our card making tutorial so far. Um, if you're interested in joining our classes and um, you're out of state or out of town, 
um, just contact me to see um, how what we can arrange to get the card sets to you so you can just follow along. Or if you live in the Fenton area here in Michigan and you would like to join us, just contact me as well. There's always room uh, either in the evening or in the morning classes. So um, these are the two last uh, projects for this month and um, we are on a summer break right now. It's too hot and too humid in Michigan to work on papers and cards and anything and so we will pick up back in September but I will try and put up some um, videos about uh, pages or other you know little tips and tricks um, depending on what the time allows right now so i hope you enjoyed this have a great summer and keep watching keep checking back there's always something that's coming up and um, there will be catalog walkthroughs um their new one is coming up july august september and there will be other new good news too so um i will be working on projects and i hope i can remember to record it so you can see it all right have a great summer thanks for watching and have a great day Bye-bye.